Hi. 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 There we go. I'm Annie. Okay. <laughs> it's Friday. Friday. Got, Got a full send on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Annie. And I'm Emily. And, and we're, we're your masters, masters of send. send. All right. So today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> That's awesome. Are so well. First of all, thank you so much for tuning back in. If this yeah. is your second time listening, you're a real sender. Um, <laughs> that name is not, not does not have to stick. Um, How many times is Annie going to talk about rock climbing in this episode? You may ask. So thanks for tuning in. Um, <laughs> if you're back again, yeah, thanks so much. We're so honored today. We have a very special guest. In our midst, here in our studio. Our first ever guest, Harrison Getzko. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Hi. So, this is Harrison. <laughs> the one that's a boy. Oh. Speaking <laughs> as Harrison. My old voice is just a smidge lower than these two. Yeah. <laughs> so, we, we chose Harrison. We know Harrison both um, separate ways. I, Annie, know him. He went to my high school. And so, I've known him pretty much my whole life. Your old friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that I actually was thinking about my first memory of you. Ooh. Weird, huh? Wow. Interesting. Weird. And <laughs> it was at a fall retreat last year, which I think is when we met. Oh, yeah. And I was walking by because you had um, some of my friends in your connection group. Yeah. And I was, like, saying hi, and I think you said something, and you just kind of smiled. And I was like, hi, I'm Emily, and you're like, hi, I'm Harrison. And that was, like, my first impression of you. Wow. I can just see you That's sitting there kind like, of, like, That's the most, like, mediocre smiling. first impression yeah. I've ever heard. <laughs> she was <laughs> like, <laughs> not even you. Like, it's cool. just like. <laughs> <laughs> like, hello. <Yeah. laughs> Funny. So that's fun. Yeah. Anyway, so we're going to interview Harrison. Because we think that Harrison is amazing. Oh my gosh, two people. <laughs> yeah. yes. All two of us. So, okay, Harrison, maybe we start with tell us where you're from, what you're studying, what year you are. Mm, okay. I am from Manchester, Iowa, born and raised, just like Annie Cassett here. <laughs> Super exciting. We're still West Delaware Hawks. Um, well, probably not. That's okay. Um, <laughs> the yearbook's open. And the yearbook's wide open, <laughs> wide open. Yeah. Um, and I am studying management and marketing at Iowa State University. Senior year, just registered for my last classes ever, which is weird. Turn up. I know. I'm stoked. Okay, so one of my favorite questions to ask, specifically regarding college and the future, mm. because though no one really knows what you're going to do with your life, even the people that ask you and the people that claim they know what they're going to do with their lives, mm. and there's like a weird pressure with it, but... I mean, it's stupid. Like, what if we do anything? Who cares? Anyway. <laughs> a tangent. A tangent. <laughs> if time, money, resources, none of that was an option, what would you do full time? Like, what would be your absolute dream job? What oh, kind of people man. would you want to work with? Just no limitations. Maybe location nothing even. holding me back. Nothing. I can, like, I can just go and do whatever yeah. I want. Okay, wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, I would say I'd want to be somewhere pretty warm. I really like warm weather, but I want the option to travel to cold places, <laughs> if that makes sense. You know, because, yes. like, yeah. I like to ski. I love the mountains, things like that. But once it hits, like, January, February, I'm ready for snow to get out. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like, 70-degree weather to come back in. So, like, I think I like Michigan for that sense. Because okay. you get all four seasons, but you also get the beach. You get some hills. Sure, you get some sure. mountains. So I love that. We go up north a lot, too, there. So that's a really fun time. And I would want to incorporate a little bit of golfing into my full-time job. I love to golf. Fun facts with Harrison. Yes, uh, that's a good Yeah, fact. no, it's a great business tactic. You know, like, <laughs> make a bet that's, like, very serious and then hustle them, you know, like, say you're a bad <laughs> golfer, and then all of a sudden, but then, let's see. Then I would want to also have a little bit of, like, maybe, like, a ministry emphasis, too, just because, like, really found my faith in college, and it's the central part of my life now, most important thing by far. Sure. I love telling people about the gospel, love sharing it with people, so... That would be an awesome way to spend some time as well. Hmm. Um, and then with, I, I feel like three is a good number. So a little bit of music in there as well. I love music, love playing, singing, things like that. So, yeah. Since you mentioned music, first of all, that sound, sounds like an awesome three so. <laughs> jobs. Wow. There. What so is this podcast for rated? I should say, that was, sounds think? like an awesome trifecta mm, for a yes. job. That's what I yes. should have said. Um, (laughs) But since you mentioned music, Mm. tell us a little bit about your music goals. Are you doing goals? Yeah. You know? Making music? Hmm. Anything brewing? I love music. So music's kind of been something that 
I loved it, and then I was too cool for it, and now I love it again. I never want to go back the to too that. Cool too cool phase is the, the worst. The too cool phase is <laughs> absolutely terrible. And it shows just based on my physical appearance. That was when the braces were there. They're like, oh, very bad. And then yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm too cool for it. But then, like, my lips would be chapped from my braces. It doesn't even make sense. But uh, I really have just started to pick up music, especially since coming to college, like, relearning how to play piano, learned how to play guitar, like, a year and a half ago. Um, and so that's been super fun, and I've always loved to sing. And so with my part-time job, actually, part of it, I had to make a song that, What's your part-time job? So I work at Cornerstone Church of okay. Ames. Is that the full name? I actually, I should probably yeah, know that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's what it says on their website. Yeah. And so I just like decided to sound professional. Yeah. But, uh, and I work with the children's ministry there. And I'm like How the fun. worship music guy. So it's a blast. And so Crazy. something I got to do was I got to make a song for that. So I like have a worship song. like a worship like fun. It's a Bible memory verse song is what it was. Oh. And so oh and so like. It was just I had to make up actions, and then I was like, I have Logic Pro on my laptop, mm-hmm. and so I was like, I might as well just try and see if I can learn it. So I spent Sunday afternoon, a Sunday afternoon, in mm-hmm. my bedroom, like, recording all these little parts and then blended it together, and it was super fun, and I was like, maybe this is something I should start to yeah. do more often. <laughs> and so yesterday I spent, like, three hours putting some tracks together and Wow. Making a little ditty. I don't know if that's the right word. But it sounds I, right to me. Yeah, it's, it should be fun. And I would have maybe, I don't know if it's short term or long term, but I'd love to release music of my own at some yeah. point. That's just so, so I can fun. say I did that. You know? Yeah. 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 Full not? send. Full send. I just yeah. want to send it out there. You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not going to, I'm not going to put like half a song. And no, I'm not going to put three quarters. The full send. Yeah. The full, <laughs> full send album. Full song. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Well, I do have a question. Okay. You spoke about the ocean. Mm. And I have to ask, this is one of my favorite questions, and I know that everything is a favorite question of mine, but do you prefer the Pacific or the Atlantic? Wait, you must give me a convincing argument to why one is better than the other. Okay, so I've been to the Atlantic many times, and I've only been to the Pacific a couple of times, but legitimately, in my few times at the Pacific, I like the Pacific more. And I want to tell Correct you why. Answer. Thank yes, you so much. I Thank agree. you. So my rankings actually are Pacific, and then coming in at number two, surprise, out from the darkness, Gulf of Mexico, and then the Atlantic. Oh, wild. Okay, but wild. now you yeah. have to tell me why the Pacific is your favorite. So I haven't been to the Pacific since I was like 11, but I absolutely loved California while I was there, mm-hmm. and it was just like one of those things where like, I feel like, like let's say you go to Florida, right, in the mm-hmm. Atlantic. I feel like a lot of life is happening like five miles away from the beach. Mm -hmm. And then like all of the retired old rich people are at the beach just hanging out in their multi-million dollar homes, right? And their leathery skin. And their leathery, tan, beautiful skin (laughs) that I hope to have someday. (laughs) Um, And so, and that's fun if you're an old leathery man or woman. But I'm not right now. Yeah. I'm just, I'm not old yet. I'm leathery. (laughs) But but, uh, I feel like from what I witnessed in California, life happens, like, at the beach. Like, it's incorporated with everybody. Mm-hmm. I mean, you think of, like, Santa Monica and just the environment there. Like, it's a lot more lively, a lot mm-hmm. more fun. And, like, how I would envision a beach to be, sure. if that makes sense. You know, yeah. like, and so that's what I would say. And the water is beautiful, too. Mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. like, I absolutely just, like, love seeing ocean water because you just, like, look out and it never ends and... That's, that's a cool thing. I yeah. like to compare the two to cats and dogs. Mm. And I'm a cat person. Okay. Fun fact. Mm. Um, Wrong. Interesting. Mm. We'll talk about this later. Yes. Um, <laughs> the Pacific would be my dog. So, no, the Pacific <laughs> yes. is a cat. The Pacific is, mu- like, specifically speaking of the ocean and, like, the swells in the coast, it's way more fierce. Fear, fierce. <laughs> Making up words. Journalism. Way more- <laughs> Literally on one of my assignments, my yeah. professor said, is this a word? And I was like, if you don't think it is, it definitely isn't. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's just more fierce, more, almost, like, more powerful and, like, mm. a little more mysterious, in my personal opinion. It's colder. And I think the cats are, and I kind of like them for that. Cats are But older. dogs are way more, like, cute and cuddly and, like, we love everyone. And I think that, like, mm. like the swells of the Atlantic are pretty... The, the Atlantic is way warmer, as well as it's just cal- a little calmer, Ooh. choppier. I see. You know, dogs. When I went to the Atlantic, <clears throat> the waves were brutal. 
and not what dog like at to? all. Cape Cod. I was in good old Cape Cod. <laughs> Cape Cod. Yeah. Cape Cod. <laughs> Cape, hashtag Cape, hashtag Cod. Cape Cod. Full send Friday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. Ah. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, this is a funny question. Ooh. If your voice was a color, what color would it be and why? Now, this question is open for interpretation, meaning you could tell me the color of the volume of the, your voice, maybe the cadence of the voice, maybe the c- type of words that you typically say. Wow. So you have to tell me. Oh, man. What a cool question. I would say I'll report back to you after listening to myself on this podcast. No, I mean, <laughs> oh, my no, God. Well, right now it's red. Know, right, right now, <laughs> <laughs> the record means red. No. Uh, I'm a very harsh critic of my voice. I think that my voice is very annoying. And I think everybody says that. You know, mm-hmm. they listen to themselves on camera and they're like, ah, I'm terrible. But like, yeah. that's, like, I don't think that that's necessarily true. But I would say if my voice were a color, based on the volume, I would say that my voice is like a very, very vibrant color because my voice is very excessive and loud hmm. and it carries a lot. So I would say, I would say something maybe like a, like a bright orange or a bright yellow maybe mm-hmm. for volume wise, for cadence. Oh man, what's a chaotic color? <laughs> I like. I feel like I talk pretty fast, and my summer in Vietnam talking to people who speak English as their second language made me realize that. So ah. I would say something I'm like, "Hi, oh, what's your name?" And then they're like, "Um, hello." hello. <laughs> and then you're like, "I'm like, I don't know what to do." Um, but yeah, I would say maybe cadence-wise, it's like a, it's like a maybe like a a bright blue, like a blue that pops out, mm-hmm. but also like could have depth to it. You know, if you're talking about intentional things, mm-hmm. um, a okay. color that. A color that stands out, and I promise that's not like a, like, oh, Harrison Prideful gets good thing. Like, but, <laughs> but, stands but, out. Yeah, but, yeah, I would say for those. That would, you those do would be have a colors. distinct voice, though. Yeah, like, like I think. I mean, we can just hear, hear you. you from, like, you, you like, know, you could recognize yeah. you anywhere in a crowd. Yeah, like, I feel like after Salt, I have to sit, like, a place with a crowd, if, like, I heard you talking, I feel like I'd be like, oh, my God. You just, like, you just hear this, like, and you're like, Harrison. No. It's just, it's just very unique. And I think everyone has a relatively Hmm. Yeah, voice. I think hmm. it, it's fascinating that you can like recognize people's laughs or coughs, yeah, True. or things of that sort. Coughs, you have to know them pretty well. I feel yeah, it's like yeah. that's a personal thing. <clears throat> I always want to preface my questions with, "This is my favorite question to ask." <laughs> You're being <laughs> exposed. This podcast is exposing this summer, you. Summer, my host family when I lived in Nashville, they took me out to dinner on my last day, and they're like, "Okay, Emily, we need you." I kid you not. She was like. I need you to, like, show me pictures of your friends and tell me about them because every time you talk about your friends, you always say, I love this person so, so much. Mm. This is one of my favorite people in the whole entire world. And I'm like, I literally... So then I, like, laid them out. Okay, these are my bridesmaids. Like, I, like, yeah, have to yeah. do that. But so I get... I, I literally like you, get excited about everything. Yeah. Anyway. I see so, that in you. So, what are free things that the Full Send Friday podcast needs to know about you to know who you are today? Oh, man. Three things. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Number one, um, and I hope that I hope that I show this, you know, in the way that I act and the way that my personality is. But number one thing is that I love Jesus more than anything else. That's mm-hmm. like the one way that I want to exemplify the way that I act and the way I treat others, and the mm-hmm. way that like I just like look at life in general. Um, and I think that quite often it's easy to go around and kind of like just like see things that are broken and like our world's broken. I know that I am too, but like I know that I'm an ambassador for Christ and I want to be able to live that out mm-hmm. too. Mm-hmm. And so that's a big one. Um, number two, like I I love having fun. I'm a big fan. Why guy. have pain when you could have fun? <laughs> exactly. That's kind of where I'm at too. Pain's like a close nose. <laughs> but uh yeah, like I will I will just go out and do anything like willing to like embarrass myself if it means other people are going to have fun mm-hmm. like yep. cuz I'm going to have fun while that's going on too. Do you ever you know? feel the pressure to like you feel like you're mm-hmm. always in entertain mode that you have mm-hmm. to like be the fun for everyone? Yeah. Like even if you're the yes. guest at a party. Yes. No, I that's a very too. that's like, a very good question. Yeah. And I've noticed that thankfully go down in me. Like I've noticed that mm-hmm. like feeling of pressure decrease over time. I think it's like one of those things where I'm like, you know, like I know I'm a ridiculous human being, so I might as well, like, just be that, mm-hmm. you know? And, like, yeah. it's kind of been ingrained in my personality at that point. <clears throat> but I like that, too. And then number three, 
I would say, hmm. Wow. This is so hard to talk about yourself. Have you guys ever felt like that? Where you're like, yeah, yeah. like you're asked yeah. like you're asked like a personal question. You can answer oh, anything about yes. anybody else, but then all of a sudden it's like stuff that you feel like you should know better. Yeah. Like, Ooh. But maybe my third one's that I'm indecisive. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I interview myself when I'm home alone because I'm bored and I have to learn my responses to random questions that could be asked. That's legitimately that's the smartest skill. thing ever. That's, so I, like, that's smart to You do. know how you ask someone, we'll get back to this, Yeah. but you know how when you ask someone, <coughs> like, what are your top three favorite movies? If you're like, oh my gosh, that's too hard. Like, I literally mm-hmm. just know mine. That's you know what I mean? such oh, a good quality, that's a, honestly. Yeah. That's a good fun fact. That is a good fun fact. That you're yeah, just I like, just, I know myself. I, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> almost like, kind of weird. Wait, what are your three favorite mm-hmm. movies then? Um, Pride and Prejudice. Mm. Um, Chasing Mavericks. And Goodwill Hunting. Never Good Will seen. Hunting. Okay. Can we talk about that? Listen this? to this. Yeah. So my when I hear a list of three movies, it's the three movies I've ever cried watching. Oh, and Goodwill okay. Hunting is one of them. Really? Wait, what are the other yep. two? You can't just leave <laughs> us hanging. They're gonna sound ridiculous because Goodwill Hunting, you know, like the time like, when he's like, it's the time when he's like, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. <laughs> like, I watched it on an airplane and I was crying. I cried in my dorm room and then I walked out to go to the bathroom and my neighbor's door was open. They're like, Are you good? And I'm like, Yo, I'm fine, whatever. Whatever. So um so I cried watching the first eight minutes of up. Oh, of the course. Pixar classic. Of course. Because, you know, it goes through the life. Yeah. And the little it's picture just like, <laughs> and The like, picture book? Yeah, the picture book. Everything. And the adventure jar. Oh, yeah. my gosh. It's oh, a, my it is gosh. a tearjerker. Like, the sacrificial way that he lived. And then he's yeah. just so bitter. But then, thankfully, that changes because it's a Disney Pixar movie. Uh, Russell. <laughs> that'd be so sad if a Disney movie ended with one character being exactly the same. Yeah. <laughs> um, <and> then, <laughs> um, let's see. And then my other one. Believe it or not, this is the music guy in me. Um, La La Land. I my favorite still have movie. never seen La La Land. I cried, my I cried at the end of La La Land. It's a beautiful masterpiece. It was, like, it, the way that just, like, the entire script just resolves itself. Yeah. And I'm like, this but, is, like, one of the only movies where I wanted it to end in a particular way. Sometimes I'm like, a happy ending would be way too sappy. Like, right. You know, like, what if something else yeah. happened? And this is one where I'm like, Okay, a lot's happened. I want it to end happily. Yeah. And yeah. then it doesn't quite end how you want it yeah. to. Like but it's, it's a happy sad. ending. It's not sad, but you're like, why? It's and my then, favorite yeah. ending to a movie probably ever. It's such a good ending. But I yeah, need to tears watch audibly it. just fell from my face. Yeah. I was watching it with a bunch of guys and they're like, Are you serious? I'm like, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> and that's Stop okay. It. Yeah. Was, I love asking people this question. Yes. When favorite it, question part four. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you cried? Last time I cried, it's one I of was. Favorite mm, last time I cried was in Vietnam. Okay. Actually, so um, I cried on three separate occasions in Vietnam. Oh my gosh, my masculinity is just going down <laughs> yeah. as I speak. So, but two of them were because my dog died. Yes. So, so yeah, I cried when I heard the news, <laughs> so and then my good pal Mason Doty. Shout out Mason Doty. Um, Love him. I know he's such a great guy. I actually don't know him. I don't know why I said that, but I know <laughs> of him. And I know and a lot you know, of people like, that love, love him. Oh, I love him so much. He's I amazing. I almost just said something. I'm so thankful for him and that entire team. They were him. awesome. But we were talking to our families at the same time. And okay. he's like, hey, like, I noticed you seem kind of sad. Like, is everything okay? And I was, like, going to just, like, try and, like, black and white explain what had happened. And, like, right when I started talking, I just started crying again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. And then, uh, then the other time I cried, it was just, like, there was a lot of opposition for the work that we were doing, mm-hmm. and I was starting to like doubt, and like convince myself that I wasn't, like, or like that just like I was failing, which is like a total lie, mm-hmm. in terms of like just like God like using us to share His gospel yeah. rather than us trying to fix people, and like sure. it was just a really really sad thing. But it was I was good that it happened because it changed my perspective. Oh my going gosh! Forward, and so. you met. One of my favorite people. And when I'm talking favorite people, I'm talking like bridesmaid people. Are you talking like Monica, Monica Wessels? Wessels? Yeah. Shout out Monica Wessels. What's up? <laughs> oh How's it going gosh. down in Columbia? Yeah. I love her. I genuinely... <coughs> Monica and I had a, a supernatural amount of fun when we lived together. Yeah. Like her friendship was the biggest gift that I could have received in that time. And was just straight up grace. No. Oh she's, my gosh. Her and that entire team. We're just like incredible. Oh my I gosh! Now we're talking about like Columbia people. Yeah, no, they're they're I an love absolute him joy. So much. They're sweet. Josh, right, Annie? Jeremy. Yes. <laughs> Monica, I love you. <laughs> oh my gosh, Monica! You and Monica would have so much fun. Together. All right, yeah. Monica, hit me up. She's a hoot. She's like very subtly hilarious. 
super wise. <laughs> oh my god, the best! I love her person. so much. Anyway, okay. So since this is the full, uh, we have so many more questions now. That I, I know. Just I wanted to ask what? you guys a question what? too. Get to know the <laughs> host. Isn't that the you worst? Know? Get oh. to know your host. <laughs> <laughs> That's on the next podcast. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Oh. Um, but since this is the full send Friday yes. podcast, we need to hear a story of when you have quote full sent it. Mm-hmm. So please tell us. This is a ridiculous story oh. because there's a lot of parts to it. So I'm gonna. Harrison, start... you are setting the bar for all interviews. Yeah, the ca- rest after. of Full Send Friday, so years. Yeah, I would like them. <laughs> years to, to come. I years. would like them to watch their backs because they're setting, <laughs> they're setting up for failure based on this. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I don't want to blow it now. I'm nervous. But okay, so my story starts in the present, goes back to the past, and now comes back to the present. It's a full circle. So Ooh. today, what? today. I'm sitting in class, and there's normally, like, a certain number of chairs in the Jardim College of Business building. Okay. Um, Ivy League, what's up? Shout out to my <laughs> Ivy students. Okay, anyway. <laughs> um, and so we're sitting in the back row, and there's one chair that's short. And it's one of my friends who um, needed the chair. And she's like, oh, I'll just go grab this other one. And where, like, the back row is sit is, like, sitting in comparison to the back wall. Okay. There is, like, not a lot of space, so she's trying to push this huge, like, office desk chair through, and eventually she's like, I'm just going to go pick it up, so I, like, stand up to help her, right? And then she drops the chair on my foot, oh. and I'm like, ooh, that didn't feel great, but, you know, I yes. kill him with kindness, fake that smile. It was yeah. good. And <laughs> she's like, are you okay? And I was like, I promise I'm all right, which I was, but... Mm-hmm. It hurt a little bit, and it made me think of this time that I broke my foot for the third time. And <laughs> the time that I broke my foot for the third time was a full send, about as full send as I can think. So <laughs> we're going to set it up. I was in Lake Geneva, Wisconsin for the summer working at a camp, and it was teen It was teen week, so like a bunch of high schoolers mm-hmm. were there. And I was, I was scheduled to help out with worship for that week. So okay. I'm just playing some stuff on the piano, practicing some music stuff, and we were doing this really upbeat song. Mm -hmm. And some people were like, oh, Harrison, do you know what would be legit? (laughs) If you just, like, did a flip off of the stage. Because you can do a standing back flip. Yeah, I can do back flips, some front flips every now and then. And, like, this this stage is elevated, so I'm like, oh, I could totally nail a front flip. And so this is literally how it goes. So (laughs) they say, Harrison, it would be sick if you could do a flip off the stage without even thinking about it. So I looked up the definition of full send on Urban Dictionary, and it's like, no consequences, like, you just go. Like, don't even have anything else in mind. So I stand up and just out of nowhere just do a front flip barefoot off of the stage, right? I'm, like, full send. And I'm, like, this is so amazing. And I land, neglecting to realize that there's just, like, this thick layer of concrete below the carpet there. And so there's, like, this slap. It, like, hits really hard. Somebody (laughs) videotaped it because they, like, saw it coming. And I'm, like... (laughs) Oh, <laughs> and so I ended up breaking my foot for the third time, oh. but I walked on it for like five days without realizing that it was broken. I was like, oh, my foot hurts, but like, I'm not going to wimp out. Like I have five right. days left. And then I went to the doctor. They're like, yes, your foot is broken. And they're like, how did it happen? Like, so I had to explain. I don't know. I had to explain how I sent it. Yeah. <laughs> you don't understand, doctor. And the doctor said, please leave my office. <laughs> but yes, that is my full send Friday. And yes. if I were to leave any advice for anybody just send it yeah. whenever you get the chance like yeah use context clues when you send you know sure you know like don't don't send without neglecting the consequences mm-hmm. but like while you're sending in the process of the send mm-hmm. you don't want to just like be worried about what's next you know you yeah. just want to be in the moment you want to be present you want to be active yes you want to be engaged and I would say that I was for those two and a half seconds that I was in the air. Like, do you regret this full send moment? No, I don't, because it's a legendary story, honestly. Oh, yeah. And I'd kind of forgotten about it. Like, But, like, I've broken my foot three times. Probably going to break it a couple more times. Probably. What's a couple That was just, more. like, the climax of my foot story. Yeah. <laughs> and so, yeah, I'm thankful to have gotten an opportunity to publicly proclaim my full send. Yes. You're amazing. Incredible. Back at you two. Oh, my wow. goodness. Wow, I have just been sitting here the whole time. <laughs> but thanks. No, Annie. Annie, we are West Delaware Hawks. That's true. I am the representative from West Delaware. That's my role in this yeah. podcast. <laughs> yes. I hope the mic like just didn't catch me and like he just hears it. How funny could that it's like be? Me listening and I'm just like, mm-hmm. and then I'm like, it's, it's, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, um, do you want to wrap it up? I didn't know about this. Yeah, sure. So, 
<laughs> Thank you so much, Harrison, for coming and sharing so many cool facts, so many cool stories, and your awesome full send story and advice. So it was a privilege and an honor. Seriously. <laughs> Thank the you. Privilege so is really ours, truly, truly. Oh, and look who's you're talking. Our first <laughs> guest, you know, like you said, setting the bar. Um, setting it high for sure. Oh. So oh, good luck know. to the next guest. Am I <laughs> oh right? Oh my gosh! Yeah. But, Shout out next guest. <laughs> but thanks again for listening, fellow senders. <laughs> we really appreciate um, last video. It's been a week. We have forty views, <laughs> and that's like eight per day. We're trying to get it on the podcast. app. Yeah, we're working on getting yes. it on the podcast app. We hear you. We hear <laughs> your complaints. <laughs> 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 really close. <laughs> <laughs> and we're working on it. Yeah, okay. Literally one of my favorite humans in the whole entire world. We're okay. gonna sing it out. Everyone stand up. We're all gonna stand up. Like this. It's Friday, Friday. Got a full send on Friday. I, I almost sang the legitimate lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, gotta get down. I'm like, oh no. Oh, no. Okay, well, okay, peace out. Have a good Friday Guys. and send it every day. <laughs>